All right, how's it going guys? And welcome back to the channel, Dan vs Food. So I'm now back in England. Um, I have just got back from Morocco. What an amazing time I had there. Uh, the food was awesome, the people were lovely. I literally cannot wait to get back there. So I'm now in my hometown and today we are going on a little kind of road trip adventure with a couple of my friends. Say hello, Rachel. Hello. And Peter. Hello there. What's up? We're driving to a place called Middle Farm. It's literally one of my first port of calls for whenever I come back to England, actually. And what's awesome about this farm is they have a cider tasting section. And cider is one of the main things that I missed while living in Asia for, well, more than three and a half years. They give you a small shot glass and you can try and taste and test pretty much unlimited amounts of ciders. I think there's more than like a hundred, right? So, yeah. yeah, literally more than a hundred barrels in there. Not sure where we're going afterwards, uh, but we're just going to check out the farm, drink some cider, probably check out the meats and cheeses and stuff they've got there in the cafe. And I'm just going on way too long now and talking shit <laughs> and stuff like that. So literally middle farm is two minutes away. See you there. Oh, yeah. Don't link my GoPro, not my GoPro. <laughs> So we're here at the farm now, and I don't know how it's happened, but we've lost Peter already. Uh, he was just standing there. I've just gone to the toilet really quickly, come back out, and he's disappeared. Any idea where he's gone? No, okay. He's probably in the cider part, to be honest with you. Oh, there he is, there he is. What have you been up to? Plants. Oh, nice. See any nice ones? No. Mm -hmm. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we found Peter. Let's head into the shop. I want to show you the farm shop, because they've got so many awesome, Great quality products in here. Uh, meats and cheeses, everything, so damn good. Check out those burgers. Original half pound steak burger, five pound. Hello, you all right, dude? Oh, top side of beef, well-aged carvery ribs, dry-aged fillet steak, sausages, bacon rolls, lamb noisettes. So I don't even know what a noisette is. And what is a lamb noisette? Nois I'm probably Noise pronouncing it. Noisette. Noisette, I knew it, I knew it. So it's basically a boneless loin of lamb. So you've got wow. plain ones there, just yeah. bone rolled, and then these ones are stuffed with halloumi and spinach. Awesome, that looks really, really good. Never seen that before. And that's, uh, thank you, thank you by the way. That's 25.89 uh, per kilo as well. Uh, of course, you know, lamb is always the most expensive, like kind of protein, mostly here in the UK, uh, but that's gonna be awesome. All right, thank you. Thank you. Right, let's go check out a few of the other things they've got here. I've lost uh, Peter and Rachel again. I have absolutely no idea where they've gone. They've got a load of like ginger beers, jasmine drinks, special waters. Whoa. I think that's almost like the black garlic, right? has loads of, wow, that's so smoky. It's literally on the barbecue. Um, yeah, lots of like medicinal properties and stuff in there. Beautiful tender stem broccolis, parsnips, romanesco, which I've never actually tried before. Beautiful beetroot. Oh, this all looks so good. Let's just check out these mushrooms. Wow. What are they? Shiitake, they're from East Grinstead. Some oyster mushrooms as well, East Grinstead. Ah, they look amazing. Literally one of my favorite foods. There are just so many varieties here. They've got the name of the farm where they come from, the name of the actual apple, and the flavors it comes with. Meridian, Adam's Pearman, Ellison Orange, Cox Orange Pippin, Gala, September Wonder, Laxton Fortune. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And of course, chutneys and things like this. We've got chili jams, mint sauces, horseradishes, brown rice miso, garlic pickle, that one there, voodoo jerk. Oh, looks so good. Let's check the cheeses. Some very local cheese here, Pevensey Blue, Sussex Blue, Ashdown Foresters smoked, loads of breeze and camel bears. We've got some red wines there to pair with these amazing cheeses. Charcoal cheddar, never heard of that one. Tintern Harlech, Ethenai, Ethany. That's a lot of cheeses. <laughs> no, I'm in heaven. Loads of different cakes. Eaton Ness, just Eaton Ness. We have toffee apple, rose and pistachios. Look at these like flapjack things. Apricot and lavender, fruit cakes. 
gingerbread caramel spread, <laughs> salted caramel spread, blood orange curd, coffee curd. Wow. That sounds interesting. Cherry curds, passion fruit curds, lime curds, ginger curds. Every curd you could possibly imagine, I think, you can get at Mid Ork Farm. Okay, so let's head into the side up barn now. And actually just outside of here, there is like the apple press as well. Uh, I think people are actually bringing their own grown apples and they can press them here, um, you know, using just old traditional methods instead of just an electric juicer. All right, let's head in. Look at all this. There's literally thousands and thousands of varieties here. Where's the... Um, I need the little shot glass. Oh, here they are. Grab one of those. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, thank you. This is the cider tasting section. They've already started. So, well, Rachel, what are you tasting here? What is it? She said ginger wine or something. Some kind of ginger wine. All right. She's just giving me this to taste now. No, no, not that one. No, it's mine now. Wait, you it's that like Christmas city. <laughs> it's nice, yeah, yeah. That is really good. Put your glass back. But yeah, look at them all. There are literally just like what, like I said, more than a hundred varieties here. Ciders, Perry's, you name it. Right, I'm just gonna go for a random one first. Newton Court Cider, first press made in Her 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 Herefordshire. That's the one. Can you do the honors? Oh, right, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Mm. I know a nice one for you. This That's one really lovely. good. You should try that one, Rachel. Rubber chicken. Mm -hmm. Rubber Whoa. chicken. Have some rubber chicken. Rubber nice. chicken. Mm. Where's that from? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Middle farm. <laughs> Middle farm. <laughs> mm. oh. That's quite dry, isn't it? Really, really dry. Not too Very bad. Rubbery chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Hellishly strong, that's the one we were talking about. Hellishly strong, top me up. 9%. Is it? Oh. All right, well, 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 well. Oh, yeah, that tastes like 9% as well, actually. That's mm. definitely good for 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's not 11 o'clock in it the is. morning. Elderflower Perry, oh, okay, this is a Perry. You're right. That is really good. Isn't it? Yeah. Did you try this with tropical cider there? Yeah, why not? Mm, tropical tropical cider. That's a lot for tropical. So yeah, yeah. That looks like quite easy cloudy. Easy to drink and probably get a bit messy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's got like a little... After farmy taste. Fizz, like tiny, tiny yeah, fizz. Like... Fizz, it? Cheers. What is that? I'll finish mine. I need Cheers. another one. Cheers. <laughs> Pop me up again. I'll have another Come one. On Cheers. Then. Rachel's yeah. tipsy already, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Family cider we got here. Deminger family. Six generations. Wow. Must try that. Mr. Norman Hancock's. He's the maker. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh. That's sharp, isn't it? That is dry as a bone. Mm -hmm. mm. Literally, my tongue is like Wet stuck hand. to my roof of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very, very farmy taste, that one. Golden slippers. Mm. Might be a bit feety. Mm. <laughs> Let me try first. Oh, no, no. No, no. I'm not sure about that one. We need another, we need another one. No, no, his paper ones are breaking. Um, have I you had a bit of double vision since no, you've been no, back? No, no, I haven't. This mm. is my favourite cider I've here. I've just had some already and it's mm. more strawberry this time. Ah, uh, 6.9%. It's Kentish cider. Oh, I love it. Mmm. That's so appley. Isn't it? It really is. Oh my God. I absolutely love that one. Oh my god. Another elderflower, six No, I want some more of that actually. <laughs> yeah, don't brave you. We we'll definitely should take the barrel on this one. Black currant cider. Mm. Nice. It just tastes like alcoholic ribena. I think you're gonna like it. Mmm. Mmm. That is very nice. It is. Little red rooster, 8.4. 8.4, wow. East okay. Sussex. Definitely want to try that one. 
that's good. Yeah? Yep. Alright, let's try that I bit. I like that. Save on the cut. Sweet, it's very sweet. Mm. That is um, that, definitely drinkable. That is, it don't taste like 8.4%, does it? Another shot of that one. Mm. Cheers. Mm. What about underneath? They've got mango cider. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that is lovely, isn't that, it? That is. What about rhubarb? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Good as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Raspberry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the rhubarb. Mm. Mm. Mixture. Mm. That is good, isn't it? <laughs> it's really, good. really nice. Wow. What am I going to go for? What that am I going nice. for? What am I going to go for, Dan? Tell wow. me one thing you think I'm going to go what for. What are going to go for? Let's go for double vision. Yeah. Hell yeah. How low can you go? <laughs> Ready? Right to the top. Right. Double and, vision. Pint of that. And I do like the rubber chicken. The rubber chicken as well. All right, well, Rachel is paying for those. I'm going to try some of their hot mold cider because Christmas is sort of coming up in a couple of months or 10 weeks and it's steaming hot. It smells so good. I love it, mold cider. Oh, wow, it's so spicy. <laughs> mm. oh, that is absolutely delicious. <laughs> love it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Tiny bit tipsy. Just feeling good. Um, what we're going to do now is probably find a snack. Are you a bit hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Let's find Peter. Peter's already eating. Look at him. <laughs> eating and running there? away. Share, 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 share. Let's have a bit, Peter. Come on. Peter. Come on. Peter. Come on. Peter. Come on. Peter. He's hiding it in his pocket, isn't he? <laughs> Let's get that pocket. What does he catch that? Oh, I smelt that. Oh, let's have a tiny bite. Peter has very kindly offered me a bite. Actually, he didn't offer me. I had to take it out of his hands. But that pastry looks amazing. Look at all that sausage meat inside. Mmm. That's really, really nice. <laughs> I don't want the crust, I'm alright, thank you. <laughs> Falling all in your beard, Peter. <laughs> so we're going to jump back in the car now. We're not actually sure where we are going next, but we're just going to take a chill drive around. See you wherever we see you. There we go, Rachel. So we've just driven from Middle Farm now. Uh, we're on Eastbourne Seafront. We've got the pier there, beachy heads in the distance, and we're a little bit hungry. So we are going to go to the fish market, fresh fish stall, uh, just behind there. I'll probably just try and find some cooked stuff, maybe some prawns or cockles or mussels or something like that. Here's the fresh local caught sea bass for today. Line caught bass, Dover Soul Place, turbot, brill, husky and mackerel. Let's start here. What we've got, oh, we've got some pretty decent sized crab claws there, it's like place. Not sure what they are. Look at all of that. What the size of these ones? The brills, sashimi tuna, pretty decent sized salmon there. We've got mackerel, like fish pie mixture, squids. What is that? Oh, it's John Dory. John Dory fish. Oh yeah, I might get some cockles actually, and some whelks. They are pretty damn good. Hi, can I have 200 grams? Oh, actually, can I just have this piece of the smoked salmon? It's also called uh, you know, you know, salmon, Too bad. Salmon. Yeah, can I have a hundred grams of yeah, well, please? Solid. All right, thanks, guys. See ya. All right, so we've got the fish. Where are we going? To the chippy. Let's go get some chips. Let's try to find somewhere to sit in the rain. Oh, yep. So we have gone for not the traditional fish and chips. Um, I do love fish and chips, 
but it's just too heavy and battery and fatty and heavy. So as you saw, I've gone for that smoked salmon. It just looks amazing. Just the chips and there's the whelks as well. I'm really hungry right now. I'm gonna get my heat on. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the, this bit of fish first. Look at that. Look at it. I'm so good. Don't you <laughs> wow, I've never eaten this before in my life together. Um, it might even be better than real fish and chips, to be honest with you. That is one hella good piece of salmon there. Seriously, guys, look at that. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna try the whelks now. I've just covered them in vinegar as well. Wow. I thought they were gonna be like chewier. Or I remember them being like really chewy. Mmm. Chip Rachel. No, I want my boob sorted out. Rachel's just bloody selfie in herself. <laughs> Go on, give us a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't agree, so. Perfect. <coughs> Delicious. Right, what we got here then? We've got king wow. prawns. Do you want to add them to the uh, table? Mm. Look at that. I've got some pepper in my bag. Ooh. Hang on. Ooh, let's get a bit heavy there. Oh, and oh. To move the sticky. Look at that, it's like a fucking cocktail. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, see, oh, told you. Going to put them down on the table. Do you want to help? <laughs> All together. Just I need pepper. one hand. Would you like some pepper? No. Just right, down. Oh, Alright, so good. Welcome to the new episode of Fat Bastards Eat Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's breaking. Ready? Oh, what a good Come on, come on, Rachel, you can do it. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to start to end the vlog here now. How are you feeling, full? Yeah. Stuff. A little bit, yeah. Alright, thanks for joining me today guys. You'll probably be seeing them in some future videos Never. as well. Never ever. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> idiots. Yeah, of course. I want to say a massive thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned as well because I've got a bit of a route planned here for the UK. Brighton, London, Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool and Edinburgh. So thank you again. Be seeing you soon guys. Peace out.